season. Pleased to be joined alongside John McCarthy. And, John, this feels very much like the first day of school. Well, that's the vibe I've been getting uh, from talking to some of the players and, and walking the course a little bit earlier today. There's a definite sense of a, a little bit of trepidation in some, some of them, I think. Uh, what's your experience over the years covering this kind of thing? What, uh, do you get the same vibes as, as I'm picking up? No question. There's a lot of nerves, uh, people trying to find out where they fit in amongst the uh, class, if you will. Right. And also a lot of excitement. Any time there's a new chance to achieve something, well, it really has that excitement and anticipation. But they really want to get to work. They've got to get their head into the game because you don't want to get a grade F at the end of the year for failure. <laughs> for sure. Uh, yeah, you definitely don't want to don't want to do that. And uh, let's continue to follow this golfer from T to green and uh, all through 18. Let's uh, check back in after nine holes and see how they're faring. Absolutely, John. Let's get down to the course and check out the action. And starting today's round off at even par. setting up for the next par four hole. It looks like he's going through some trees. This one's for birdie. And after that hole, one under for the day. Now let's see what this third hole has in store. It's looking like it's heading into the fairway. from uh, 140 yards out. Going with the nine iron here. This could be good, it's heading for the green here. Ooh, and a lovely shot from the fairway right at the pin. And this putt is for Eagle. And now let's take a look at the leaderboard. And three under for the day after that one. All right, here's the fourth hole. That looks like it's going long. And that approach is safely on the green, but a uh, whole lot of work to do for that next putt. that was going to go. And about four feet from the cup. And the par putt drops. And he's going to stay right there where he was on the leaderboard. No change in the ranking. Okay, let's see what the fifth has in store for us. This one's looking like it's finding the fairway. And about 160 yards to the pin. And here's an eight iron. Fantastic work on this par five, hitting the green in two. Oh my goodness, close, very close, but no cigar. From 20 feet. And this one's for par.
And as we check the standings, he's still holding down first place after that one. And now teeing off on this par four. And some poor luck there. He's probably not too happy about that one. And this putt is essential for saving par. And finishing the hole with a solid putt. And he's still at the top of the leaderboard after that one. And teeing off on this par four. And he can't be very pleased with himself after that. And this putt is for birdie. This putt's looking to be about two feet. And after that one, three under for the day. And now setting up on this par three. Here's a nine iron. Looking good. Twelve feet to go here. Oh my goodness, that was close. And for the par. And a nice putt. And uh, no change in his leaderboard status after that hole. And now setting up for the par four tee off. Yeah, it's looking like this is bound for the short stuff. From 115 yards out. Looks like this is going a bit long. No, that could have been much worse. That's uh, that'll work. Oh my, this is looking too good to be true for the birdie. And as he finishes up on the ninth here, Luke, he's found himself in a pretty favorable position. Oh, I love this part of any tournament, John. Nine holes to go. They call it the finish, the championship finish. Who's got the strongest mind as well as the most complete game? Will this leader be able to take it all the way to the house? Gee, I hope so. Thanks, Luke. We'll chat again at the 18th. And I think you'll like that. And from 150 yards out. Going with the eight iron. Might be a bit too much club on this one. And he's probably going to like that. And this putt is for birdie. Ooh, and it just, just misses. And about six feet away. And 
that one will drop. And no change in the standings uh, after that hole. Okay, now moving on to the 11th. And this shot's looking pretty good. And this is right around the eight foot mark. And just missing. And this putt is for par. And that putt drops. And after that one, he will stay at the top of the leaderboard. Okay, moving on to the 12th. Okay, this one's looking pretty good. about six feet to go here. And that one will drop for par. And no change uh, ranking wise after that hole. All right, let's see what uh, happens on the 13th hole here. And uh, nicely done, looking like we'll have some fairway here. And uh, 110 yards or so to the pin. I think you'll like that. And this putt is for birdie. And this putt's right around two feet. And currently sitting at four under for the day. And teeing off on this par three. I think this might be a bit long. And that'll play safely on the dance floor there. And this is about 27 feet out. Ooh, and that one's very, very close. And for the par. Ooh, unfortunate. And this putt is for bogey. And after that hole, he still in first place. And moving on to the 15th here. Promising looking shot here. And this is for birdie.
and finishing the hole with a solid putt. And after that one, uh, four under is the score for the day. And now setting up on the 16th tee. This one's looking pretty good so far. And from 155 yards out. Going with the eight iron here. And this one's looking pretty good. Okay, and hitting this par five in two is gonna set up some definite eagle possibilities. And that putt will go for Eagle. And as we check the standings, he's still in first after that one. Okay, and moving on to the 17th now. Looks like he's going through the branches here. That was tough hitting out of that lie. Uh, still in the rough though. And to save par. This putt's about three feet away. And that one will drop for the bogey. And no change for him leaderboard wise after that hole. And now teeing up for the final hole of the round. This one's looking like it's in the fairway. And this is about a 105 yard shot to the pin. And this next putt is for a final round score of 65. Is this going to be too good to be true? And that putt will drop for birdie. With that last shot, he'll take the event. And he winds up on the top of that leaderboard. That's some fantastic news, Luke. Well, it's a fantastic outcome. Not only their first win, but if they can get a couple more, then they'll get that instant promotion to the PGA Tour. Well, on behalf of John McCarthy, the entire HB Studio 